Welcome back to Zcode System here on YouTube. Drew speaking, and it's great to have you here for another rundown of Premier League games coming up this weekend. You can see it right there, games for February 13th. The blog is officially up, and the video is now coming to you here on YouTube. And we've got big games this weekend, including Manchester City taking on Tottenham Hotspur in a massive game at the Etihad Stadium. And another big game going on, Liverpool, who are struggling mightily. They are taking on Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. So a big weekend of action going on with direct implications on the title race, which is looking more and more likely like the trophy will be going this season to Manchester City. But of course, we have um, just a little bit less than half of the season left to go. So there's a lot of twists and turns that can continue on with the Premier League. Now, guys, thanks for tuning in this week to our Premier League picks here on YouTube, courtesy of Z-Code System. And if you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up and also like the channel or subscribe to the channel, that is, so you can be up to date on everything we post here on Z-Code System week to week, whether it be for football, soccer, um, NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball when it starts back up again. So whatever it is that you love to wager on and sports that you'd love to follow, you can stay up to date on everything here at Z-Code System and get all the tools from us as well as go over to the blog, get uh, up to date on things there, as well as use the tools in the VIP. So again, today we're talking about the Premier League for February 13th. That is this coming Saturday, the day before Valentine's Day. So if you haven't got that special someone, something you might want to do it now before it's too late. Uh, but the games will be coming up on Saturday, or these games that we're talking about will be coming up on Saturday. Um, there's going to be games going uh, both Saturday and Sunday, so uh, you can get onto the VIP wall and the Soccer Buddy tool to get picks for those. And if you haven't yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and sign up now. Now, let's go over to that Soccer Buddy tool to take a look at the picks for this weekend. Okay, guys, so this is the Soccer Buddy tool here at zcodesystem.com. And of course, this is one of our favorite tools or one of my favorite tools to use. And I use it regularly here on our um, YouTube videos to give you a little bit of a look at what you can do and what you can expect from this fantastic tool for professional sports investing. Now, of course, you can go to this, open it up, and I have already done that, as you can see. And I'm just going to scroll down, and as you can see as well, we've already got our date set, the 13th of February, that's Saturday. We've got the Premier League, but of course, depending on the football league, the soccer league that you like to wager on, you can choose which league you prefer. But of course, I prefer the Premier League, and that's what we're bringing you today. And then I've also got our hot trends set. So if there are any hot trends for these games coming up, then you'll be able to see those. And I'm just going to decrease my picture just a little bit so you can get everything into the shot. Uh, there we go. So we'll go right there. Um, and so we're going to look at this here and I'm just going to scroll down so you can get a better view of the four games that we have for, uh, for Saturday the 13th. And let's start off with that big one. It's going to be coming to you first on tap. And it's Liverpool going to Leicester to play Leicester City in a massive. So Liverpool are going into the bookies' favor at the moment, as you can see there. Leicester City, the underdogs. But you know what? For me, Leicester City are not the underdogs in this game. They are in third place right now in the Premier League. They are on 43 points from 23 games, playing some excellent football. Now, compared to Liverpool, who are struggling, they are playing really poorly, coming off of a 4-1 humiliation uh, at the hands of Manchester City at Anfield last week. And Liverpool have been just utterly, utterly poor. Um, the attack is not firing. They're very, they're not scoring many, uh, excuse me, they're not scoring many goals at the moment, um, and especially at home where they have lost three straight games um, at Anfield. Now, the good thing is, I guess, for Liverpool is that they're going on the road to play at the King Power Stadium against Leicester City, and they'll be playing um, a Leicester team that they have already beaten this season. Liverpool defeated Leicester um, back in uh, the autumn, three uh, nil in a in a decisive game or a, a very impressive fashion, um, beating Leicester City at Anfield. Now I don't think that that is going to come anywhere near happening this time around because Liverpool have been so poor. And to add to the problems is Liverpool have a massive Champions League last 16 first leg fixture coming up next week against RB Leipzig from Germany. So they've got a lot on their plate right now. And Leicester City are playing too well, in my opinion, to lose this game. And I really like that 2-2 scoreline. I don't think Liverpool can pull off a win. I'd be 
pleasantly surprised if they could, but I'm not expecting them to win this game. And I think Leicester City could get some points uh, from it uh, when they take on Liverpool. Both these teams in the top four right now. And uh, neither of them really have a shot at the Premier League title. Liverpool 10 points off now. And um, they really, their focus has to be on finishing in the top four to qualify for the Champions League. So I do like a 2-2 scoreline there. And, you know, if I'm going to pick a couple of goal scorers, perhaps, perhaps Leicester City's Jamie Vardy to pick up a goal, as well as Mohamed Salah, who leads the Premier League in goals this season at the moment. Um, I think that uh, both those two players are good value to get goals. Now let's look at that Burnley Crystal Palace game. Now this is a game between two teams who are near the bottom of the table. Not too, uh, not too good of teams um, there with Burnley and Crystal Palace. They are in that lower half of the table. Burnley fought relegation, or they fought um, to get away from relegation early on in the season. They've successfully done it at the moment. They are eight points above the relegation zone, sitting in seventeenth place. Um, really, uh, the teams there at the bottom, it's a case of who is the worst. Uh, Burnley just a little bit less sucky than the rest of the teams below them. So uh, I think Bur I think Burnley will be safe this season uh, and remain in the Premier League. But um, they're not a very good team, and they're coming off of a midweek FA Cup fifth round loss to Bournemouth, who are from the Championship. They lost 2-0 to Bournemouth, and um, a game they should have really won but it just showed the poor uh, attacking options um, that Burnley have. They just couldn't put away their chances. Now, Crystal Palace going into this game, they sit 13th in the Premier League. Um, a team that if they got, you know, if they got uh, some more goals, we could see them get some more wins and finish a little bit higher up. They're coming off of a, a loss last weekend to Leeds United 2-0, which snapped a two-match winning streak. Now, this is a good Crystal Palace. Oh, I wouldn't say a good Crystal Palace team. Let me let me backtrack on that. So this is a, a decent Crystal Palace team uh, who rely on, a lot on defense, but they're going to be going into this game with a lot of injury issues. And I think um, that's one thing that maybe isn't really taken into account going into this game uh, with this pick. Um, Crystal Palace have a lot of injury issues. Um, their star player, Wilfried Zaha, is struggling with a thigh injury. He's not expected to play this weekend. Um, and so uh, I believe it is, from the last time I checked this morning, 10 total players for Crystal Palace that could miss this game through injury. So that's a that's a huge um, hit to that first team squad for Roy Hodgson. Now, the thing is, though, Crystal Palace do have some goal scorers in this team that could get them goals. And they have goal scorers who are better than the players um, available to Sean Dyche and Burnley. So uh, really, I can see Crystal Palace coming away with a win here or a draw, a score draw in the end. Uh, these two teams, to me, a bit evenly matched, especially with Saha out. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see either a draw or a Crystal Palace win at home. Now let's move on to, uh, let's say that Tottenham-Manchester City game for last. We'll come to that last. And before we get to it, though, we'll go to that Aston Villa versus Brighton game, which will be played uh, on the south coast there at Brighton at the Amex Stadium. Brighton going into this game, 25 points from 23 games. They are now 10 points above the relegation zone. They've turned it on uh, of late. They picked up a win just the other week against Liverpool. And as well, uh, they're coming off of a draw. Uh, a draw with Burnley last week in 1-1. Had to look that one back up. Uh, but they are playing much better football right now than they were just a few weeks ago. And like I said, they've really distanced themselves from the relegation zone over over the last month, month and a half. And uh, right now, they look good to stay up in the Premier League. When just you know around Christmas, they looked like they were headed back down to the Championship. So uh, Brighton have really turned it on. Um, Aston Villa going into this game playing um, a bit inconsistently. They were a team that were uh, fighting for the top four there. The, first quarter of the season, but they've really had a big drop off and for me are, uh, have reverted to where they should be after overachieving early in the season. Uh, right now they have 35 points um, from 21 games. So they do have two games in hand over uh, some of the teams in front of them. And to be honest, they could still finish in that top four, but I don't really see it happening unless something dramatic happens, uh, especially with those teams in front of them who are just holding them off. But um, Brighton did pick up a win the last time these two teams played earlier this season, which was a bit of a shock because that was at the time when Aston Villa were playing uh, quite well. So Brighton could definitely pull off a shock here um, at home going up against Aston Villa. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they were able to do that. 
uh, just looking at uh, Brighton's last couple of games, uh, we can see that Brighton uh, have picked up, uh, let's see, that's four wins and two draws in all competitions um, for Brighton. Now, they are going to be playing in the FA Cup tonight, as I speak to you. Uh, they're going to be taking on Leicester City. So um, they have a chance to continue on that competition, make it to the quarterfinals. Um, but, you know, their real aim is really to remain in the Premier League, of course. Uh, so in good form right now as they go up against Aston Villa. And just to give you a quick rundown here of uh, Aston Villa's last couple of games, uh, Villa coming off of a win last week against Arsenal, uh, but wholly inconsistent. Uh, in their last six games, three losses, three wins. Now, again, I can see Aston Villa coming back and, and getting some something out of this. Um, and I, I do like, I do, part of me does, does like that Brighton 2-1 uh, win, but I could also see this being a draw uh, at the end of full time uh, with Aston Villa getting something out of it. And, um, you know, a draw actually really helps Brighton regardless. Uh, doesn't necessarily help Aston Villa in their attempts to get to the top four. All right, so let's take a look at this last game, what would be the biggest game of the day, and that is Tottenham Hotspur going to Manchester City to play Manchester City. Now, Manchester City are thriving right now. They started slowly. Um, they weren't playing great around uh, Christmas time, early December, but they have really, really turned it on and are the favorites to win the title. I think that they are going to wrap this up. Manchester United have fallen off the pace a bit over the last couple of weeks. They're five points back of Manchester City. Leicester City, seven points back, and Liverpool are 10 after that loss last weekend at Anfield 4-1 in favor of City. Now, the thing about City is they're doing this without having um, two of their star players. Kevin De Bruyne is injured. He's supposed to be back at the end of this month. He's got a, I believe it's a, a thigh strain. Uh, he won't be back, like I said, until the end of this month, but they're doing it without him, even without their, their best player. And Sergio Aguero, who uh, for the last decade has been the player that's helped them reach the levels they are at, he is, he's been missing for much of the season. He's been out, uh, geez, I want to say for the last month or more um, due to COVID related issues um, that he's had to self isolate for most of that time. And this was expected to be his last season in the first place. And they've really, manager Pep Guardiola has really, um, uh, you know, kind of sidelined him in the first place. And the club is still doing well without him. They're just not scoring as many goals as they did previously. What they're doing is they're holding teams. They're keeping teams from scoring. Now they did put four past Liverpool last week, which would make you think that they're still able to score goals at will, but it's not been quite uh, that to that willful goaling, uh, goal scoring as um, in years past. But again, uh, playing really well. Now Spurs did win this game when they played earlier this season, 2-0. Jose Mourinho parking the bus, preventing Manchester City from getting goals. Now I expect Mourinho to park the bus, put 11 players behind the ball and uh, crowd that uh, that penalty area um, in during the game. Will it work this time around? Of course it could. Spurs could catch him on the break. Uh, there were times against Liverpool that Liverpool had the chance to to break and to get behind the defense of Manchester City. It happened at one point when Liverpool earned, uh, won a penalty and Mohamed Salah scored uh, after Ruben Diaz pulled him down in the 18-yard box. But um, I, I'm not really sure that Tottenham are going to be able to uh, excel at doing that um, this weekend. Now they do have great players in the human son and Harry Kane, two great goal scorers um, who could definitely take things to Manchester City's defense. Uh, but we have seen in recent games, Tottenham against Chelsea and Tottenham against Liverpool, where they parked the bus, um, but they weren't able to not only keep keep the opposition out, but they weren't able to um, hit on the counter-attack and get goals. Uh, like I said, they won earlier this season at home against Manchester City, but that was a different Manchester City team. City weren't playing uh, at the height they are right now. And I like City to win this game. Um, and I even like them to, keep, well, you know, 2 ones a, a, a good scoreline, but I know I could even see Manchester City keeping this a clean sheet. And I like Ilkay Gundogan to get a goal for Manchester City. He scored twice against Liverpool, missed a penalty as well. He could have had a hat trick. Um, he is their leading scorer this season, uh, which is a, a bit of a shock, but he's um, doing very well, playing very well. And um, yeah, I fancy him to get a goal in this game and uh, Manchester City to win and to keep their winning ways going. Now I'm just scrolling down because I'm going to show you the other tools here, courtesy of the Soccer Buddy app, and this is the value bets. And if you scroll down, you can get these. And as you can see, we have um, a value bet here for second half over 0.5 goals 
with Liverpool and Leicester. So, you know, you might want to get on that. Um, so this is uh, just another great tool to add to your arsenal of sports betting um, to use, as well as the full Soccer Buddy app, which you can get right here on Z Code System. Now, guys, those are my picks for this week in February the 13th. That's Saturday in the Premier League. And, uh, you know, we've been doing really well with our picks this year in the Premier League. It's been a crazy Premier League season. A lot of away wins uh, have been happening because fans have not been in attendance. So that edge that home teams have has been nullified almost. Not always, but uh, it's been nullified uh, a lot of the time. And uh, yeah, we're seeing a lot of, of strange things. Uh, it's a crazy season. And, you know, if things get back to normal next year, um, I think that this season we're going to look back on it and think, wow, how bizarre and how crazy it was. So anyway, guys, that those are my picks, like I said, for this week. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything we do here at Zico System. And comment below. Let us know which games you're looking forward to this weekend and uh, which teams you're backing. So, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Drew, and it was great to have you. We'll see you next time here on Z Code System.